Look at that. That's so gorgeous. Star Hotel. Oh, my lens is getting all foggy. <laughs> Well, we're in Thailand. Zach's out of town for like a whole month, so he has to do laundry. And today's the day here in Thailand. We found a laundry place. Imagine that. I'm really excited to go kayaking. So we got here last night. Um, like, what time? Like around 8 o'clock? Like 9:30. Yeah, 8 o'clock, 9:30 ish, <laughs> somewhere in there. And we're here at our this beautiful hotel. It's Diamond Cliff, Diamond Cliff, 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 Diamond Cliff Resort in Patong, Thailand. We're heading over to Phuket later today to uh, do some kayaking in the beautiful ocean here. I'm really excited. I'm this. I'm, I was really excited for this part of the trip. All right, we are on our way to do some Thailand adventuring and I'm not bringing this big camera so I'm going to be using the GoPro and our phones. So we might not have a lot of sound from here till the end of the day, just so you guys know. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. We're ready. Ready to go. Okay, bye. and a half hours later. All right, we just got back and seriously, this has been, this is added to like probably the top like six days of my life. We definitely highly recommend this to anyone who comes to Thailand or comes to Phuket. It's called John Gray's Sea Canoe and it is super cool. We'll talk all about it. So I'll get in there a little bit of Thai massage. Oh my gosh, can it get any more beautiful? I don't I don't think so. I don't think it can. Gotta love for another one. Gotta love for another one. So it's, a, it's, an, it's about an hour boat ride. So, so from the pier we took off from, it's about an hour, just straight out towards these awesome, like, formations, these islands, just like unbelievable, the view. Just like, you'd see off in the distance, just like a whole bunch of these different shapes. And then behind it, there'd be more and different like layers, like five layers deep going back. It was so, it was unbelievable. I mean, it's, it's exactly what you see out of a movie. Places you don't think you'll ever get to go. And here we were on this ship in, in the middle of the ocean, looking at these beautiful island formations. And there, it was just, it was amazing. So we're, we're sailing out to where we will be canoeing. And once we get there, we all, um, get onto the canoes and I, I was thinking that we would be doing paddling but we actually had they had like a guide who was paddling for you. So it was it was fun because you get into the canoe and you start paddling towards the the islands, these little islands poking out of the water, and then you can, you go like through the outer caves. There's like holes in the side of it, and you go through it, like through this cave, and into the center of the island that has eroded enough that inside it's now like a little room, and there's plants and everything growing inside. It's crazy. fall so and when it's low enough you can go through it and and at the end of the day it gets so high that you can't even get in and out anymore so they obviously plan it so that when it's low tide we can go in you go through these crazy caves it's it's just it's unbelievable it's super super gorgeous and, and fun and interesting to see it there's just crazy 
like or calcium mason, deposit yeah. and like just like the rocks will be like hanging down almost like you know you can kind of see how they've like carved out but there will still be you know a bunch of them yeah they're not like quite like stalactites, stalactites or anything like that but they're super cool the other th really cool thing about them is like even when it's like low tide and it's open like you still have to there's parts where you have to lay like flat back they'll be inches away from yeah. the, the ceiling of these caves as you're traveling through them to get to the center open space but you have to lay completely flat and then the guide like like gets you through but it's crazy and it hurts like there there's clamshells and they're just it's just really Marnacle. rigid rock and so if you like scrape up against it it'll hurt it'll hurt you So then after that first one we came back and all of the guides toured, they lined up all of the canoes and they had us play this game. It wasn't like so much a game, it was just like a fun, like a challenge. They lined them all up and we all, you try to run across them and not fall off and it was really hard and that, we didn't, we didn't do it, we failed. It was just a fun time though, it was just like, it was so it, fun. Th this was just like free swim time and play yeah, time. Yeah, so. free time and you gotta do that. All the guides were really fun and like, the water was so warm. It was the same, probably the same temperature as, as it was outside. I liked it. You thought it was a little like, you would have It was a little, a little too warm. I, I don't, I think I liked it. At this point we made, they brought out like all these flowers and banana leaves and, and banana tree trunks that and were banana cut tree like trunks. little discs. Yeah, so we had these trunks and they were like having us help them make these just flowery... Offering? Yeah, an offering. It's like this, they, they have a tradition where you make these offering offerings and you send them out on the water and you can send out a wish or a prayer or like repentance or whatever yeah. I didn't I wasn't exactly sure on exactly like what the tradition is and then once we got to the next place we got out onto our canoes again all right we're on our way to the bat cave So, so at this point, these are the bat caves. So we're canoeing, and I didn't get a lot of good video of this because it was so dark. Legit bats, like bats, like hundreds of bats inside these caves, just hanging upside down on the ceiling, you know, like bats do. But yeah, there's a lot of them. They were little ones. I mean, I don't know, they might have been big ones, but they were pretty little. They looked pretty little. Mm -hmm. Canoeing through these bat caves, and we get through, and our boat and another canoe are the first ones through. And right when we got into the center, I like, I'm looking, and I see. There's like something in the water, and at first I thought it wasn't an otter. Yeah. Because we had been, they'd been telling us that there used to be sea otters. I was like, oh my gosh, it's an otter, and then I look, and it's not. It's a monkey, and there's a monkey swimming in the water, and there's this little head is like poking out, you know, like looking around, and so we we canoe towards him, and they say if he if he comes up to you, don't touch him. Um, like he can he can touch you, but don't touch him. He swims over to the other canoe, and he just hops right on there, and he hops on the canoe, and he walks around, and he sits down, and. Hangs out there for a second, and then we get we got close enough that he just hopped right onto our boat, and he just it was great. I mean, it was a it was a good sized monkey. This is no small monkey. I mean, he was probably as as big as like a toddler, you know. And so he he like walks right past us and sits next to our guide for a second. And then he just like comes and just like sits right next to me on the canoe. <laughs> it was crazy. And I was like, I was kind of freaking out a little bit because I didn't. I mean, monkeys can get yeah can get so scared. I mean, when he would he would like yawn and like stretch his mouth out, and his fangs were like so long. <laughs> <laughs> he 
he like put both both hands on like yeah. Tara's leg too. He would like hang out and then when he like went back down he just like put his hands on my leg and you can't see it in the video because I didn't go down enough for you to see it. I I was nervous but I'm happy with my performance and not breaking up. <laughs> But at one point, somebody tried to like wave to it, and the, it kind of like spooked the monkey, and he kind of like, yeah, freaked he out like, on the guy. He like did a double and he like, and he didn't he like, at him. yeah, he hissed at him, and I didn't get on video, of course. It was it was pretty crazy. <laughs> it was funny though. And just to give you an idea too, because I don't know if it like, because because. Each excursion out was an hour to an hour and a half, probably. Like it was, it was a while. I mean, you're probably wondering, like, what are you doing? But yeah, like they just take you around, and it's just like these. Yeah. It's unbelievable. I don't know if you've ever seen, but mm -hmm. but just green, like green trees and cool vegetation, yeah. just like these formations straight out of the water. It's just unreal. We were we were just <laughs> we were just in awe the whole time. We're just sitting there, like, what is happening? This is so cool. So anyway, after that one, we go back to the boat and it's a really good dinner. Oh yeah, like really good. Shrimp, chicken, they had fish, fish they had masamak curry. curry. We love the food here ever since um, I arrived in Singapore. I don't know, I just like Asian food. I like it a lot. I like rice. rice. I just love stuffing my face with rice. It's so good. So yeah, after the after dinner we got back on the canoes and rode in the dark because you you light candles on those things. So we, we rode in the dark. Our guides had little headlights. Went back into the caves, which are the water's rising at this point into high tide, and so and so we ride in the middle, and we all they put all the canoes in a circle, and then you light your candles and you let your banana trunk offering Katong, float, Katong float on the water, and uh, and it was cool. It was just peaceful, and it it was just beautiful. And then when that was done, we canoed back onto the big boat. No. Um, we got to just relax on the, the front of the boat. It was the full package trip. It was great food, great time, great conversation, great company. You know, yeah. just a really, you know, beautiful setting and like cool experience. The, the weather was perfect. It was like partly cloudy and not too, like it wasn't rainy or too windy. Yeah. yeah, John Gray Sea Canoe, if you're ever in Phuket, Thailand, you need to check it out. Yeah, like. This is a must. And now we're going to bed because we're so tired. Thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye.